Okay, I'm gonna hope that works. <laughs> Click at all the right buttons. Someone please tell me that worked. Mm. Nope. That didn't work. Why did that not work? What did I do wrong? Oh, maybe I didn't do anything wrong. <gasps> I did something right. Holy bejeebies, Batman, I did something right. Okay, okay. hi. What's everybody doing? <laughs> it's so hard running this thing by myself. Uh, oh, thanks, Pop. I didn't realize you were in the chat. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. All good in the hood with me and the cat. Okay, nobody worry about me and the cat. Thank you very much. Appreciate your concern. Not a big deal. Mm, don't forget thumbs up. Exactly. Mm, hello, hello. Happy, happy, Mr. Dem oh, myself, domestic. I'm very new to quilting. I don't have a clue about what I need after the cotton and, oh, and the thread. Oh, you mean cotton for the material. Uh, depends on really what you want to use it for. I saw your question about the batting. So if you want to do... Like if I do charity quilts or kids quilts or something, even my own quilts, I'll, because they get washed a lot, I'll use a poly batting. For one, it's a little bit lighter and I like layers, so I'll use a poly. But if you want this to be someone's like cuddle blanket for the couch, that's where 80-20 comes into play. Uh, and of course from there you can go for bleached white or black. You know, and there's wool. Wool is really heavy. That's for, you know, if you really want to make like a, uh, like a log cabin sort of quilt or a heavy quilt or something like that for sure. Hopefully that helps you. Hello, hello, hello. Watching from Denny's. Mom's cue for breakfast and lunch brunch for my birthday and friends were watching you. Oh, well, very good. Okay, I try to get the camera over here so it doesn't look like I'm doing this all the time. Okay, so here we go. Here's hoping. I found my magnet light. Ooh, I'm in trouble now. Okay. And uh, I, is this shirt going to be distracting? Because I can change. I didn't think about that. Munchkin said it was cool to wear for today, and I thought it might be too distracting because I know the lights were distracting to some people the other day, and I apologize. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. I'm, I'm happy 26 of us are hanging out today. Sorry, the top of my head's getting cut off. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're just going to work on this project. The sister, and I think the zoom works. Let's check it out. Oh. It does, very nice. Thank you, awesome, awesome sauce. All right, let's go back to Maine. Okay, very nice. Shirt is good, okay. Cause surely not everyone was Kung Fu fighting that day. No. <laughs> I'm sure they were fast as lighting, but not Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> I just didn't want it, you know, for stitching and it might be a little bit too distracting from what I'm working on. So, you know, just, just trying to, trying to change things. So hello, Barbara Baker, one of our winners. Okay. So I know I haven't mailed anything out, but just saying, I went and picked up all my wrappings and packages for said giveaways. And I even had the little envelopes over there. So after the stream today, I'm gonna prep everything and get your addresses on them and I mail them out this week. <laughs> Cause I don't want them here any longer either. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Um, what was that? Ruth, that was an excellent, what was the idea? What was the idea? Share with the rest of the class, will ya? I got this for Pop a long time ago, and then I keep stealing it because it's comfy. <laughs> and I think it's funny because that's why I bought it. <laughs> I believe so, Barbara. I believe so. Because mm. surely not everyone was kung fu fighting. So everybody's okay where they're over here on the table. Let's do another zoom now that I'm sitting here. And if we were to just do some little cross stitchy because I didn't really get a chance to check that out. So, okay, that's, that's good. You guys can see what I'm working on. Is that a bit better than the other side? This is kind of a hit or a miss at this point. We're just trying to find the right spot without investing in new equipment. So that's why I thought if I scooted you over here and then put you right in front of the monitor, it would be really close. And then you could still see what we got going on and I can do a little light over things if you really wanted to see, like we, we can make it work. So, you know. We, we can we can make it happen we can make we can make stuff happen so this is better 
Oh, I don't know about organized. <laughs> Vicky, yeah, so funny, girl. <laughs> Uh, hi, everybody cooking Indian curry right now? No, actually, I have, hold on, let's go back to main camera here. Um, I have uh, meat sauce in the slow cooker for lasagna. Well, actually, that was a good question to ask, Pop. What do you like for dinner? Would you like the meat sauce on baked potatoes, or would you like lasagna? Because I did go pick up lasagna noodles just in case. So, Because I knew we had enough of the cheese, and I, I knew we needed, like, a can of tomato sauce, and that was about it. So I went and picked up a few things before the, the stream. And checked the mail and picked up stuff. So I like curry. I did. I did. Actually, it wasn't where I thought it was, Lynn. I had it, actually. Munchkin didn't have it. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't go, like, yipping at him. I went looky-loo. And actually, I, I have a fabric rack that kind of, you guys never really see it because of the way the cameras go. But it is was loaded. And for the past, like, year, I've just been shoving things in wherever I could find a spot. And it's buckets and tubs and stuff, right? <laughs> so uh, literally today uh, and yesterday, I literally just was, like, pulling the bigger fabrics out to make something with. The smaller fabrics to try and to chop up to make for blocks like two and a half or five and a half or whatever, whatever I can get out of it and move on from there. Uh, and then the rest was just kind of dumped in a pile, whether it was flannel, whether it was a panel, whether it was blah, 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 yada, yada, you know, so on and so forth. So, and then I'm like, oh, well, look, there's the light. <laughs> Imagine that. What? <laughs> Just a quick stop to say hello. Your stitching is looking so... Thank you so much. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're working on it. Found some stuff. Mm-hmm. I saw Miss Lois. She was in the channel, too. Uh, potatoes is fine. You don't want lasagna? Oh, all right. See you. Okay. All righty. Whatever, Batman. Okay. Meat sauce and potatoes. Baked potato. Meat sauce and baked potato. I love corn on the cob, lots of ears of the sweet corn. Mmm, I like corn on the cob too. Not, Pop prefers it off the cob. So, and that's actually a little bit what's in the meat sauce too. I hope so, use the right end. Either works, surprise me. <laughs> I was going to, but now that you're in the channel, I thought I'd ask, but now you're making it like confusing. <laughs> Way to go, Pop. <laughs> Hello, Barbara McFadden. I did lasagna for dinner last night with roasted tiny Brussels sprouts. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. All right, so I think we finished off our, um, which would be the E pot, the letter E. We got the R, the R we got the, the S and the T and the other S, so we kind of need to work on the I, this, the I for the sister, okay, this one right here. So we need to count over and figure out where we're going. I'm sewing with my new machine. She got a new jukey. She got a Valentine's present. You should share that with everybody. Mm, I haven't heard. What, what, you haven't heard what, uh, Renee? Happy to see you, Renee. What's going on? Mm -mm. I even put our little um, Valentine wall hanging we did a couple years ago. Remember, it was like free motion and then trimming fun and having a good time and put our little, 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 little envelope flying from the heart or from the tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hung that up just to help. Uh, hold on, I got some. I I flattened some ginger ale. Hold on, let me move over here. <clears throat> But I did have a little bit of juice I wanted to finish. Because my tummy was a little upset over here. And you named her Sally? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> um, I haven't heard of meat sauce and potato. Um, just like a big potato and then you would split the potato out and then just put your meat sauce on top. We've done that. Cheese in between or cheese on top, fresh tomatoes, avocado. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's a staple around here, but it's it's been one that's been on, on our on our menu for quite a long time. So because you can either go spaghetti sauce, you can go rice noodles, you could go shepherd's pie with that, you could go lots of little little different ways with that whole thing. So that's why when I said potatoes, and you knew what I meant instead of mashed potatoes, or I would have just said, you know, shepherd's pie or sorry, cottage pie. Apologize, cottage pie. Um, that's the way it, I'm fine with it. I was cooking it. I'm sure she won't burn it this time. What? 
What? What do you mean this time? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I bought that for Pop a couple years ago, and I keep I keep uh, stealing it. <laughs> And I had it on this morning, and then when Munchkin and I were trying to set up the camera before he left, because I said I want to try to have something new, uh, so I said, and I said, is that going to be distracting? And he goes, he goes, I think it's funny because when you hit the close-up or zoom camera, it's focused right in there. And I'm like, well, maybe that might be distracting for people. So he's like, no, no, I think it's funny. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so surely not everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> we'll go back to me. <laughs> I'm doing great, thank you. Now I have to do is find patience to wait this thing out. I'm not allowed to say, oh, not yet. I remember a time. Yeah, 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 I burnt the chicken. Well, the chicken was really, it wasn't burnt. It was just mummified <laughs> by the heat of the oven. <laughs> I was trying to think of the right word. <laughs> I need to... Uh, I'll need to try it for my Italian husband. Yeah, why not? It's good. Just like baked potato, like you would a normal baked potato. And then either with the masher, just kind of <laughs> pulverize the stuffings out of it and then put the meat sauce on top or like cut it and split it and then put the cheese in and then put the meat sauce on top and then all your dressings on whatever. So a little dry and caramelizing. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Gwenny had hip surgery a couple weeks ago. Actually, she finished one of our live streams cheering us on and having a good time. And then within an hour, she was calling an ambulance to come and get her because she was, she was really in a lot of pain. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty sad, wasn't it, Pop? All right, <laughs> I need to count. <clears throat> I need to count. It's important to count. <laughs> this is a counting moment here. <laughs> and down one gives me the very bottom of the pot. So 21 and down one. So 21 and down one. 21 and down one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and down one. All right, so let's make that hole just a little bit more prominent so I can see it when I come up on the other side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 22. Hut, hut. I'm, I'm, I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm watching you. <clears throat> yeah, she, she hurt herself. Well, her, her, herself, I don't, and you said, as you said, you don't even know how you got the infection on the inside. Like, what, how does that happen? <laughs> Yeah, just waiting for healing. You're, you're doing good. You're doing good. You got a positive attitude, which takes you a long way there, too, honey. It really does. So, yeah, so another day of teacher strike. So I'll be excited to go back to regular crossing guard tomorrow. So, and I literally, if, if I were to pan the camera this way, you guys would be like, what is what on? Because I just kept dumping buckets and dumping buckets and dumping buckets and pulling bigger bits off to one side and leaving whatever. It's a disaster. I really have to work on it after the stream. Yeah, it's like boom. Yeah, it's, yeah, it, it just uh, att uh, attracted to metal parts. Yeah, in her heart, if it's, I, and that's just so weird. It's just so weird. It's like what. How is my body feeling me? Okay, come here. So just to show we're on good terms, come here. Come here, old man. Come here. Mama still loves you. I just didn't want to deal with him that day. And it was only a few hours anyways. Come here. Oh, I know. I know, big buddy. Come here. Yes, I know. There we go. Mama still loves you. Just because you're a fart head sometimes doesn't mean I don't love you. <laughs> See, now I'm going to have to wash my hands. But just to show everybody, I still love you. You big goofies. <laughs> Welcome to Mr. Clive channel. Sorry. 
Oh, oh, hold on. Where's, where's the loaf? Where's the sofa loaf? Oh, she's napping. We were playing with the frisbee. She's literally napping right there. So maybe she might come to us. Oh, 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 covering my mic. Sorry, there we go. Mm, there we go. It's all good. You're still mum. Just sometimes you need a little time out from mama's love. <laughs> mm hmm. That's what happens. <laughs> right? There. Can you hear his purper? <laughs> yeah, more rooms here. Sylvie doesn't have a doghouse. <laughs> She's got her own chair. <laughs> I don't think Kelly's here. I haven't seen her. I, I saw. Um, Oh, Allison, hold on, buddy. There we go. There, look, unhook, unhook. I love you too, but you got to unhook. Thank you. Um, I saw Allison and uh, Lois, but I haven't seen Haley yet. As you're sparking, uh, speaking of moderators. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me get wash real quick. Do do do. Be right back. Hi, do do Yeah, we were talking about you. You're not really sleeping, are you? You're not really sleeping, eh? <laughs> See, now I can't pet you because I just washed my hands. You ready? Hi. <laughs> Mama still loves you. <laughs> Gotta go period force here. Okay, bye. Thanks for popping by, Allison. Just gonna work on a flower pot. <laughs> Nutrition is over. All right, so we got one solid. Oh, I still got water in my hands. Um, one solid one, and then half ones on either side as we're working up the bottom of the pot. Mm -hmm. All right, I was gonna give myself a little tail. You can do the knot, do the tail, whatever works. I found the knot actually very quite useful last time. If I don't catch it this time around, I will have to do the knot. Okay, that was way over in the one spot. Hold on, go back here. We had nine here this morning for Quilt Group. Love sharing time with these. Oh, I know, isn't it amazing? We had our uh, Quilt Guild last night. Um, oh, I did have it in the right spot. For some reason I had it wrong. Uh, our Quilt Guild meeting last night. And we were working on the Canadian Quilters Association postcard quilt thingies. I'm sorry, I was not motivated. I don't know what it was. And it was nothing about the meeting or the ladies that I was with. They were fantastic. We had a laugh. We had a good giggle. I just, for some reason, thought I'd feel more... Um, yeah, Clive's channel. <laughs> yes, thank you, Ruth. <laughs> Clive's just fine. In fact, he's loving my foot right now. He's right here loving my foot. <laughs> he's probably like, why are you over here, Mama? <laughs> I love Clive very, very much, or we would not have adopted him from the shelter we, 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 we got him from. So, And he was there for a long time because nobody would adopt that black cat. And we gave him, we, we give him everything. We give him lots of love, so don't, don't doubt it. <laughs> He's just fine. He was just in the doghouse for a couple hours. Just didn't want to see him. Which is, which is justified. Everybody has their time. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a good time at our guild meeting last night. I mean, in, in that regards. But um, I don't know. It just I felt like I could have been more inspired. Does anybody want to see what I actually made last night? <laughs> it's kind of pathetic. <laughs> I just couldn't think of anything. And no climbing. Uh, 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 ouch. Hand, paws, claws out of mommy's leg. Thank you. Love you very much for a ball. Go, go nappy nappy. Go nappy nappy. Yeah, you do. It's kind of sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I literally sat there, sorry, <coughs> for like two and a half hours, two hours going, what the heck am I doing? I don't know what, and, and, and we had lots of time, and, and I could have, you know, taken projects and, or, or knickknacks and filigree and ribbon and, you know, whatever from other tables or whatever. Everybody was kind of like free for all. I brought extra fabric for everybody else too. And, and glue and this and that and thread and needles and, you know, because I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to, to need, right? I knew I wasn't going to need a sewing machine because it was just like put it together and then sew. But, all right, hold on. <laughs> okay, no laughing. 
<laughs> I showed Pop this morning and he was like, huh? <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> and I promise I'll do better. This is not what I'm gonna mail in, okay? I'm gonna do something different. But because I was just sitting there, I didn't know what to do and I couldn't think of anything. So here is the muslin backing that we stamped. I stamped a lot for everybody else last night uh, for the postcards. So, and this is what needs to go on the back of it. So what, thanks for stealing my chair, Kat. Uh, so what these end up going to do is um, they, are going to be sold at Quilt Canada in Edmonton, Alberta this year in July, June, July. Um, anyone who confirm that for me, go ahead, please. Uh, one of those months. And they're going to be sold and help to go to the pediatric cancer brain unit, I believe, of the Edmonton Hospital. Okay. So what Quilt Canada has asked all our quilters to do as a challenge to themselves is make a postcard that can be sold. So I, anyways, I said I'd do two, but I won't can this one. Okay. Okay. Does anybody know, uh, obviously, you know, Harry Potter, I'm sure lots of, uh, raise the hands. Anybody knows Harry Potter? Okay. Other than that, this one, you won't understand this. So in the Harry Potter movie, stop. Really? You're loving my butt. You're all weird. Come here. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> So, Harry, I know, me too. Huge, huge fan, huge fan. I've watched the videos many, many times. Okay, so in the movie is the the book, the, you know, the vicious book. So I made one, but then I put, like, it had braces, like it had some grill. <laughs> I know, it was sad. And even my little, my it didn't even glue properly, and you need a stabilizer. I know, I know. So it was kind of like, and then <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> I was so lost. My first guess was trying to make these. I didn't even borrow this fabric. I borrowed this, this, um, this like net, uh, knit fabric uh, to try and make mountains. That was my first thing was to make mountains. And then somebody said, oh, it looks like tires. And then when I flipped them on either side to make like tires, they said, now it looks like the book from Harry Potter. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm losing at this game today. <laughs> Just gonna make something at home. <laughs> so I was like, you know, he's got some grill, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was my last night. It was, it was fun. <laughs> Edmonton, June. Okay, it is in June. Okay, I couldn't remember whether it was June or July. So thank you, Gwenny. Big hearts to you. Yeah, I've seen all the movies. I know. <laughs> And then some, a couple of times. <laughs> I, I just was kind of winging it was what I was feeling. And like, oh, well, this and that. And it just kind of went crazy. But, you know. So I still have two to do. And you will see them before I mail them. Before next, we have to take them for next guild meeting. So these are my postcard backings. So what you have to do is you have to have a, a foundation set piece. Kind of like the, the brown fabric on the grill here. And then you have... Uh, it's a bit of a thicker stabilizer. It's actually kind of thick. Can you hear that? It's, mm, I don't know, maybe an eighth. I don't know. It's very tiny, but it's thick. It's thick. <laughs> I just was not feeling it. And then that goes against your background fabric. And then once you put your uh, postcard fabric on top, then you're going to zigzag the bedickens out of it all the way around. And then that's what actually ends up getting sent to Quilt Canada. So for our March meeting, I need to bring two good ones and that ain't one of them. So. <laughs> there, yeah. so that's how last night's guild meeting went. <laughs> but I had fun chatting with the ladies. <laughs> and I handed in the, the charity quilts, the Salvation charity quilts that I've quilted up. I, they were happy to get those. Uh, and I have a few more to do. You know, you don't bind them. You're supposed to just zigzag around the edge, around it. That's why I asked. I asked, Miss Gwenny. And apparently they're going to get sold, and any of the money goes to uh, the pediatric brain cancer unit in the Edmonton Hospital. There's a, there's a certain name, and I'm sorry. If you just go to Quilt Canada Association.ca or something like that, uh, it's all there about the postcards. 
So, hello, Miss Virginia. Hello, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. I know, isn't that funny, Annie? <laughs> oh, Annie, oh my gosh. We, there was a couple of us were just not inspired and some people were like totally inspired. I'm like, I'm just not feeling it tonight. I don't know what the heck it was. <laughs> All right, back to stitching. <laughs> it was one of those. All right, make sure the cat wasn't in my chair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I came across, a little side note here. That's a, that's a baby quilt I'm going to do up for my, uh, a guy who I watch on uh, Twitch. His name is C. Notch Bush, and he's a, uh, he's, a, he's a carver, or he's a clay artist, anyways. So he's expecting a little one soon, so I'm going to do this panel up. Oh, sorry, this way. In the, uh, what is it, Jordan fabric style. It's kind of like sectioned off. You'll, you'll see it. You'll see it. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, but I, th I came across this in my stash busting and I thought, how can I make four unique bags by sectioning these off and then building up around them and make four unique bags as giveaways for our next 12 hour stream? Isn't that awesome? You get one on each side of your bag and then of course I build it up and then I'll quilt it and then you know make it and so on and so forth and be like four bags. Isn't that awesome? I just loves it. I just loves it. I know. Wasn't that been a fantastic giveaway for our fans? Mm, you could be a lucky winner of one of these bags. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited actually. Very excited. I pressed it up. That's how excited I was. I ironed it. <laughs> that says a lot. <laughs> Ask Pop. <laughs> I know, right? It's going to be fun. Alright, so working away here at our iPot for the sister. I know! Enough to try and cheat to get one. <laughs> I'm not sure how you can cheat there, Miss Valerie. How you doing? How you feeling? How you feeling there, honey? I know, isn't it adorable, Ruth? It says craft and then craft and then sew. And I'll just mix and match and pull from colors that kind of match the stuff. And I'll quilt it up on the long arm. We maybe the, the spool and, and needle thread, you know, that we have going on or something really fun. And then, and then make the bag out of it, you know. I'll put a little pocket on the inside. Yeah, it'll be good fun. It'll be good fun. I can't wait to give it away. I was so inspired when I was tidying up. <laughs> Lo and behold, <laughs> such rarity. But yeah, I seriously have some uh, stuff to do after the live stream. It is a mess over there. <laughs> well, I was trying to get, okay, all the polar fleece together, all the, all the flannel together, all the panels together, and then sort out the rest of the fabric to whether it can be chopped up into bits and bobs or does it get, um, you know, does it get, uh, put into like use a fabric for like you know possible quilt bits even though maybe just a little bit but some is better than none so hello PJ how you doing hello Miss Lois I'm glad I'm glad you're doing good I'm glad you're doing you look at you had fun you were out for a, uh, a motorbike ride a while ago and I was so envious I'm like oh I can just feel the wind in her hair and the snugness of the helmet and the smell of the leather, you know, because I was a biker. I was a biker, Jick. That's Pop. I was so dangerous. <laughs> Actually, I had a little scooter. <laughs> That's so dangerous. <laughs> okay, regarding the postcards, if received by May 1st, they can be entered in for first, second, and third place to win cash prizes. Oh, I didn't even know that. More receive after our welcome, but won't be your... Uh, yeah, no, that's fine, yeah. Minimum five dollars. Excellent. Okay, so I better be doing something good. I don't want to send that. <laughs> I'm like, I could do better. Don't, don't send this. So they they just wanted us to start last night and then to take it home and finish it and then bring it back for next meeting. So I will. I'll bring my two. So that's my two contribution towards the brain cancer unit of Edmonton. And here's hoping it brings some money. Uh, and I'll try to be creative. There were some really, really cute ones. Oh my gosh. So I was kind of inspired by what I saw. So I just like to make a few things and, and then, and you know, do a little bit better. Spend some more time on it than just trying to, you know, bring two bits, bits of fabric and some filigree and figure out what the heck I'm doing. I just, I just couldn't, I just couldn't focus. I had a busy day. I had a very busy day yesterday. All right, so that's all that section done. So that is that half is going to be another color. 
So I need to come over one and up one. I'm sorry. Uh, some postcards will be held back for a silent auction too. Oh, oh, I, I could only hope, Miss Gwenny. I could only hope. Here, let's try and zoom in. Yeah, you guys are okay. I can only hope, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, over one and up one. Can you guys see that there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you guys can, anybody I think can enter, so go ahead, just look at the Canadian Quilters uh, Association website and go from there, you know, do, do, do something with a, a sibling or a guild mate or a friend who loves to sew and, and you just never know where it's gonna take you. You could, you could help out so many people, right? So I'm working on the very, it's light yellow green. So this is the light yellow green of this flower pot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I thank you very much, Gwenny. That was very informative and I appreciate your uh, time to look things up uh, very much. I know you can't really do much else, so I, I appreciate you being my go-to. Uh, tread, oh, you mean like thread painted trees? Oh, thank you, Linda, that would be nice. I did think of that and I was like, eh, maybe, maybe not. We'll see what I come up with. I promise I'll share. I promise I will share what I do. I maybe even do it as a weekend project, maybe for next, not this weekend coming up, but the one afterwards. You never know, I might. Uh, okay, so that's a half on the side and then a half on top and then a full on the side. Okay, so half on the top. What is it you're saying? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked, Miss Martha. We're doing that. It is a flower pot that say sister and it's from my middle sister. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, who lives in Calgary and I live in uh, Hillsburg, Ontario. She lives in Calgary, Alberta. And she gave me that a couple of years ago and I'm working on the pot that says I, the one that says I on it. I'm working at the very bottom part there. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm working on. Do do. Hopefully you can see it okay. Working on some light green, light yellow green at the moment. And uh, I do have my magnet light. I found my magnet light, so thank you. Thank you. I knew I had it. I just had to figure out where the heck it was. <laughs> That's half the battle with things nowadays is figure out where the heck it went. <laughs> All right. I got spaghetti sauce, well, meat sauce on the go with mushrooms and tomato and, of course, ground beef and garlic seasoning and um oh it's got linked in the back here somewhere hold on do do um uh, garlic salt and pepper that's it for the moment and then um we do have onions which i could chop up i haven't decided whether to add those later or not but uh, it's pretty much a basic meat sauce at the moment and uh, Pop says he didn't care whether I made lasagna or just put the meat sauce on baked potatoes. So, uh, for some reason, I think I'm going to have to backtrack a stitch or two here because for some reason I've locked in my little tail. That's not good. Ah. I need to get my, yeah, you and I both. <laughs> yes, those are flower pots, not gnome hats. <laughs> yeah, I know people were thinking they were gnome hats upside down. <laughs> they could totally be though, I totally agree. <laughs> I, I see it, uh, it's, it's, it's not like it's not there. <laughs> I'm glad you're recovering, Miss Gwenny. We were really worried about you. Especially after your phone call. It was like, oh, hi, Laura Lynn. Yeah, this is Gwenny. Uh, just let you know. <laughs> what? I was such a pop. We were so flabbergasted after the conversation. Have you tried pork for your meat sauce? Uh, we used to have a uh, ground pork, ground beef mix and, uh, a long time ago when we used to get between uh, split or uh, when we used to get our stuff from the butcher, we'd get a half a pig and a quarter cow um, and it costs us about, oh, 
just over a thousand dollars. I'd say anywhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred, depending on uh, what. The, and it would take up our whole freezer completely, completely our whole freezer for this uh, half a pig and quarter cow. And we used to mix. We used to get like you know half a pound of pork, uh, ground pork to mix in with our one pound of ground beef to make it for one go further and to add different flavoring. So yes, yeah, so I'm doing fourteen count. This is it. This is a fourteen count as well, I believe. Mm. Inquiring minds want to know exactly. Yes, I wish I could share this one free. I cannot. It is a um, plaid buccella. I don't know how you say that. B U C I L L A pattern 43916 called Sister, and it's nine by five. Yeah, 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 it is. It's sister. I'm working on the eye. I'm working on the pot eye with a uh, sister. So slowly but surely, I'm working it. <laughs> it's all how you work it. Dun, dun, dun. I know they do look like nomads, right, Vicky? <laughs> Have you, okay. Um, glasses, yes, I used to do 22 count drop to 18. It's the aging thingy. That's why I went and looked for my little Magnolite. I've had this for decades. And you just put the little light on. You can obviously see it there. And then, you know, you can aim it over. It's got a very bendable neck. I gave it to Munchkin a couple of years ago when he was doing some miniature painting, like Warhammer. If you guys know, any, if anybody would know War, Warhammer. I don't know, you may or may not. Um, depends on whether you got kids that age. So he was painting, painting mini, miniature figurines. In fact, some of the old videos that were when we're, the desk was over on the other side, Let's go back to me. Uh, when the desk was over on the other side, you can see his old desk behind me with all the paints and stuff all set up on it when he used to do that. So that was at the beginning of our video series, I think. Uh, or a second part, because we first start off with the desk over on this side, facing the wall, the very short wall, and then the kitchen was right behind and the long room was in front. So that was our very, very first set of videos. And then we moved over there, and then we moved over here, and we've been here ever since. So. It just seemed to work out space-wise. You know, you got it takes a little while to find the right spot, right? And same with the whole finding the right spot for the cross stitching. So we will we will figure it out. Uh, yes, it is a bit over. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Have you had the seed beads out of working the label? Mm. I'm confused. Sorry. Um, I, I missed about the LL pattern. I apologize. And quick witted reminds me since we still get a bit of snow off and on, we still have a snowman. He is huge <laughs> lit up by the stairs. So <laughs> we have a huge snow pile in our yard that got plowed even the, more so this morning that's almost as tall as the Jeep. <laughs> it is big. <laughs> it is a big snow pile. But that's what it has to be. Oh, hold on. I missed that there. Uh, okay, got the hole. I just want to make, because these are really tiny. It's like a polka dotted pot. So the stitches are a little wonka doodled on this one. I just want to make sure I'm doing them right. So I've got the hole at the top. No, not over. Okay, all right. I'm missing a stitch. Okay, so here. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, sorry. Yes, it's been over four years that you started. Oh, it's been, uh, yeah, I, well, just, we just celebrated our fourth year anniversary. I think it was actually short, I think this week or, or just before. We started in February of 2016. So, and that was all Pop's idea. So everybody point the finger at Pop. <laughs> Greetings from rainy Arizona. use an ot light won't work without it such a value. I have one that's a clamp too it's like a little clip they can, like it's actually I think it's called a book light and you can aim it so that's very handy we actually use it for the uh, stove too the pellet stove um, to help uh, light the area for that as well so did I get oh no I didn't you had more snow than we did. Hubby plowed yesterday and we came down last night and to check on me. What a sweetie. At least he could drive. The yeah, exactly. We got, we got a lot actually. Um, 
by the time we woke up, what was the morning that Pop said, oh, it didn't really snow much, but it really snowed the next day. I guess it was Saturday. It snowed all day Saturday, Sunday, snow, yesterday, snow. And we're in for more. They said more today, but it hasn't even started yet, so. Hello from wet and cold Dublin. Hello, Miss Bernadette. How you doing? Love your t-shirt. Where do you find these? Oh my, definitely need to magnify with the light. Yeah, exactly. Cross stitch is very tiny, especially on a 14. I found the t-shirts uh, via, I just went to, uh, actually it popped up on Facebook. There was a few of them. Uh, anybody know NCIS Gibbs? Gibbs Rules? Way back in the day, I got pop that says like NCIS or, or Gibbs rules up here and then all the rules are in the back. That's one of his favorites. He likes wearing that one a lot. And this one, and then of course I got the one with the Jesus as the superheroes all at the same time. Yeah, 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 you guys know it. Yeah, yeah. You gonna do it okay? A bit of a sinus of congestion? Ooh, nothing, no, but nothing serious. How about you? Well, I'm doing all right. Happy late birthday, oh, Pop. Late birthday, Pop. Mm, Pop's birthday was in November. Did I miss something? Get Gibbs rules. Here we go. Martha knows. Martha knows. Hildy knows. <laughs> the superheroes is awesome. I have, I've actually had quite a few requests to figure out where I got it from, and I wasn't, I wasn't sure I was going to when I purchased it because I did purchase it for Pop, right? So. Uh, hold on, LL for the idea with the hmm, videos. Hmm, what did I miss, Annie? Such a bad storm too. Um, hmm. Okay, what's your idea? What's your idea then, Annie? Uh, okay, where am I? Here? I need to mark. I need to mark where I'm done because this is weird. I used to love NCS for years and never missed an episode. Rule number eight, always have a knife with you. Oh yeah, the shirt's around here somewhere. I could totally read them off. And you know what, they're not in order. It goes like skips, like 33 and then there's 45 and there's 68 and like there's, yeah, it's all random. <laughs> it's all random. I noticed that. <laughs> okay, there, and now I need to make my way up. So I need to go from the half one, up a full and then a half. Okay, up a full one. Come here. Come here, you. It does smell good in here. Oh, yeah, it was his idea. For, definitely was for his, his idea for the channel. It really was. It, it, and the fact when he approached me of it, I literally laughed out loud for like two days. <laughs> he, he said, he goes, hey, I think, because this was after I, you know, we'd got the long arm, we'd, you know, the business was already going sort of thing, and I was still doing crossing guard, and I had a couple, you know, I, of course, I, you guys know, if you've been here from the beginning, I babysat, worked two jobs, or worked three jobs, plus home and long arm and videos and stuff like that. So I was very busy in the first beginning of 15, 16, and 7, 16, yeah, 16, 17, and 18 were really, really busy years for me. So, because I, I was very much multitasking. And uh, <laughs> when he said, oh, I think we should do videos for YouTube. And I went, what? <laughs> he goes, yeah. he was serious. I kept, I laughed at him for days and days on end. <laughs> He goes, no, I'm serious. And then I'd start laughing. And he would just like throw his hands up in the air and walk away. And then he'd be like, hey, you know, I think really, you know, I think you'd be good on YouTube. And then I'd start laughing. And then he'd throw up his hands and walk away. <laughs> I figured sooner or later the joke would get old. But it, it never really did. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> uh -huh. I miss Abby and Tony and Z. Oh, yeah. We haven't watched it in like a long time. Ziva's gone. Oh, I, I don't I don't know. We haven't we haven't watched it very because we haven't had cable television for at least eight years, if not eight and a half years. Cause shortly after we moved in here with everything else and it just seemed like we were paying $180 for internet and cable, which we weren't watching anything. Everything was crap on television. It was nothing but commercials. So what was the point? We could spend $15 a month and go to Netflix and see whatever we wanted and find what we wanted on YouTube. There we go, done. 
So we haven't had cable television for that long. So when people say, oh, did you watch the Super Bowl? I'm like, mm, nope. <laughs> did you see this? Nope, I did not. <laughs> you know, so I don't know what happened. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to any of the shows from like, you know, 2012 on. <laughs> Oh, that spaghetti sauce is smelling so delicious. I love it. I love it so much. All right, well, this is a short one. So we're going to come back on the other side, and then we're going to tie it off. Mm -hmm. Done. Oh, Netflix is awesome. Are you kidding? You can watch all sorts of things. I've watched The Crown twice. Uh, what did I do? Oh, hold on. I lost my needle. Um, I've watched a few things. I'm glad Pop hung in there and convinced you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, I, thank you. I'm actually very happy you said that, Gwenny. So thank you very much for saying that. Because I really thought he was, hello, cuckoo, cuckoo. And he was always saying, I was crazy. Yeah, no, no, no. The nuts were running big on that which, tree, let me tell you. He was crazy nuts. Watch it on YouTube because I don't have cable because it is. Yeah, I know exactly, Hildy. It's the same thing. We finally broke up with cable and went to antenna and fire stick. Pop, are you listening? Fire stick, different prices and available. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I've never even heard of fire stick before, Deanne. You're educating me today. <clears throat> All right. Pull that through the back side here. Okay because it was a very short tail. So I just pulled it through some of the stitches I've already done to kind of secure it and then we can trim it off afterwards, okay? But we need some more of this light green blue. So of course, you know, this is why it's so short is because I cut it off at the knot. Remember that knot? So I don't do commercials well either. I get very frustrated. It's like, dude, show me what I want. <laughs> what I really, really want. <laughs> It is a beautiful day here, though. We have we do have a heck of a lot of snow on the ground. Uh, the plow guy had to plow at least ten centimeters, uh, or, or sorry, ten inches off the dr uh, the driveway, and they said another four today. So hello, Rachel. Happy you're here. What's going on, everybody? Hello, Gidget. How are you? We're still working on this beautiful project. Here, let me show you here going on. Hopefully you can see that just fine. We're working there. We're working on the eye. The eye of the sister. Okay. So this one down here, very, very bottom. It's some variegated greens going on. And we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm sorry. Hold it up. I need to figure out these whole cameras thing. So Need to kill fleas? Oh no. You can kill fleas. Getting up for work. Oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> alert, alert. <laughs> well, happy you're here. <laughs> you can zoom up. I can zoom. And the button is fixed. Pop, fix it. <laughs> it's just because it wasn't set up properly when, when, before he left, that's all. So they're not gnome hats where little gnomey gnomies are going to hang out here. They're flower pots where flowers are going to grow up here. <laughs> but they do look like gnome hats. I do, I do agree. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good in here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back to me for a second here. I love buttons. Oh my gosh, I love buttons. All right, and let's see, where were we? Where were we? We were marking off where we were. All right, I got those two, sort of. And I think I got the, no, I have to do the two full ones side by side, okay. Two very tall antennas, yeah? Oh. Hold on, I'm going to use that trick, which is come over, put a knot at the top. I'll try to put a knot at the top. It didn't really stay there. 
<laughs> I did cross stitch a long time ago and you got me wanting to do it again. Well, you're welcome. Glad for the addiction. <laughs> Uh, no, oh, oh, went the wrong way. Well, hello, Miss Ellie, was on the phone with my friend. Well, that's duly acceptable. How's your friend? How you doing? Happy you're here, darling. Glad to see you. We were asking about you earlier. <laughs> Sorry if we seem like stalkers. <laughs> we apologize. We just care about you. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Miss Gwenny. We missed you, Miss Helly. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, oh, hold on. Uh, Vicky, you probably could do a YouTube on Fire Stick. Probably. probably. I don't even know what a Fire Stick is, so. Aw, that's so I feel that. Well, you should, because we love you very much. In fact, I was, uh, if I literally were to pan the camera this way, it looks like a bomb went off off my fabric scrappy rack because I have like dump buckets and I've tried to stack things into these are all the panels these are all the flannels these are all the you know the chunks I can make stuff with this is all the stuff I'm gonna have to chop up and put into you know bits and bobs <laughs> and I came across some of the fabric I was working on your quilt I'm like oh I was like feeling the love towards Miss Helly I'm like hmm because there was like a, because anything left over as an orphan block, I want to kind of put towards a quilt for my own bed. Remember I said, like I could show you the quilt I have on my bed right now and you guys would be so sad by it. I know, I, I tell you this. So remember all the blocks that I kind of did for 2018, the, the scrappy collection, and I kind of tried to make a block of that quilt that I did in that scrappy collection. Well, I have some of those, a good portion of them, and blocks that I've made, and then just there's an extra one here, and blah, 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 and there's a couple of four patches of your yours, and I was like, oh, I want to add that to it, so, you know, yeah. You guys would be so sad if you saw my quilt <laughs> that I sleep with every night. <laughs> Sad but true. <laughs> well, yeah, and then I want to make that my my quilt because I can share that and and know the memories uh, surrounded by it, right? So, yeah. Thank you, Gwenny. Mm -hmm. How missed you? Glad you're feeling better. Glad you were here now. Exactly. I know we are very glad she's here. How's your back? Pops is kind of eh. I've been using some Voltaren gel on his back, and he says it's kind of helped a little bit, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know if he can get it where you are. If you want to see the tube, I can show it to you. Oh, I came up in the wrong hole. Hold on. Uh, I did that recently to my crafting and emptied a tote in Miss Elena's fabric and cut and yeah, you have to Jessica. You got to. I think you did that one day. Were we, weren't we doing the uh, 12 hour live stream because you were just home from work and then you were getting tired, but you were trying to tidy your craft room. I think I remember that. I don't know. Maybe it was the. Hello, Miss Sonia. Happy you're here. Happy you're here, Miss Sonia. Uh, my typing is so slow today. Keeps messing up with, uh, keeps messing up in sheesh. Forever to say anything here for some reason. Just glad to get the live coming in and well. Oh, well, sorry, Ruth. I'm sorry you're having issues. I can see you just fine. Mm -hmm. I had a massage and a double and a double up on four different painkillers. Now I have to get out of them all. Oh, that's the worst part. Mm. Sorry, Marguerite. I'm sorry you're buffering. Uh, hold on. I did those ones. Hold on. Let's mark off my stitches I did here. Okay, we need to go to the left. We need to go to the left. This one's complicated because it's got tiny little, it's like dots. It's a polka dotted pot. The eye, it's kind of a polka dotted pot. So it's a little bit, a little bit weird. Yeah, just do a refresh. See if you can do a refresh. Okay. Yeah, so if you can see that, it's got dots all over the place on this one. It's, it's all crazy. So we just got to take a little time and figure our stuff out. That's all. All right, so from the whole one, go over one, and then it's on the second one. It is annoying to have back pain. Oh, girl, don't I know it. 
Hold on, I just got to stir uh, dinner. It's in the crock pot, but I just want to make sure I give it a stir. Hold on one second. I'm, I'm just traveling to the kitchen. You can hear me, I know you can. I'm gonna lift the lid. You can hear bubbling, ow, ooh, oh, that's hot. That lid's hot. Bubbling away. Oh, it smells delicious. So it's got ground beef and crushed tomatoes and two cans of mushrooms and garlic powder and salt and pepper and some crushed chili peppers. Yum, yum, yum. It smells delicious. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I give it a stir because I hadn't given it a stir in a little while. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. Hello, Pop. Yeah, he kind of left in a rush this morning. Munchkin kind of took over his space because he had the video to do for Wednesday's video. So he kind of like pretty much kicked Pop out of his space and Pop had to go to work. <laughs> That's kind of how it was. All right, so over two. So we're going to go one and two. Hello, Beverly. Happy you're here. Uh, it does, it, it smells so delicious. I wish we had smell vision to share with you. <laughs> Cause you'd be like, I am so coming over for dinner. I'll bring my plate and my own fork. You don't even have to wash up after me. I'll take it with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I live with back pain, so no fun. Yeah, I know it's horrible, Vicky. It's horrible. I know I was doing some shoveling because the shovel, I had no choice but to shovel off the deck and stuff like that. I can get them, my dude to do my dude, my dude to do the driveway, but uh, I have to do the rest. So, and it was so thick the other day, I, I, I could feel my back tweaky. Remember where I bent down to pet Sophie and pulled the butt muscle in back, my back, and it was so painful. It was almost like really close to there, and I could feel it just going like a little tweak, and I'm like, oh. Oh, you know, and I'm so like, no, 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 <laughs> don't, 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 don't. <laughs> I, I can't handle that right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pray. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Pray for the, the patience to get through it. Pay for the. A calming of the pain itself. So, okay, so there's a three whole stitches all together, and then I kind of need to do half stitches around to make that little circle. Because, like I said, this is polka dotted. It's like a polka dotted pot. It's very stormy here. Oh, what, what kind of storms do you mean there, Marguerite? Do you mean like uh, snowstorm, hailstorm, rainstorm, windstorm, tornado? Like, what, what you got going on? Been down to pick up a cone the other day and threw my back out, walked <laughs> I know, is that horrible, Robin? I know that was the day I bent down. The Friday I bent down to, bit, to pet Sophie and rub her belly and then, and you know, and play with her and stuff like that and just give her some, you know, general, you know, human puppy loving and, uh, that you know, is, that she's used to. And then it was like Saturday morning, I wake up and I, and I knew something happened on the Friday. But it was like, oh, okay, that's a little, oh, I don't know, uh, you know, something's going on here. And then to wake up Saturday morning, just completely, uh, it ain't happened. Life has just went to kit and caboodle in a hand basket. And it's right riding the H-E double hockey sticks train. <laughs> that's what was going on. All right, so that's that. Okay, so one from the whole up, from that whole one up, it's a half a one. So a space and then a half a one on the right hand side. Mm. Nice, 62 of us here today. Very, very nice. Happy you're here. Anybody have any questions about this project that we're working on? Trying my best to, to we're, we're working the view angles. Uh, we've heard so far that this one is the best one yet. So I'm happy to hear that. Ha have you tried CBD oil? Who? What's CBD? Oh, is that uh, the marijuana oil? They, that's all legal here. So that's some, maybe something to look in for, for sure. And then a whole stitch next to the half stitch. 
No, I'm not, Pat. <laughs> I said that in the beginning of the video. <laughs> I just needed to have him in a timeout for a couple hours. It was nothing more than that. <laughs> he was not my favorite cat for a few hours, and I, that I am allowed. He's my cat. <laughs> there was no throwing him anywhere or abusing him or kicking him or anything else like that. That is not who we are here. It was just ignore him for a few and then I got fine. I got over it. That is life. Get over it. Things that make you mad or piss you off, get over it. Um, with my ears popping sounds keep me awake at night. Oh, really, Beverly? Popping sounds. See, I hear ringing. I hear ringing sometimes. And Pop would look at me and it'd be all of a sudden like we'd be in the kitchen and all of a sudden like I'd hear this like ring. And it would be like mid-conversation or we would just be like making breakfast and nobody said anything for a bit. You know, it'd be like the weirdest thing. Or, yeah, I, yeah, I get that too. And I don't know why. Sometimes it's really prominent and other times it kind of fades. So, oh, oh, I didn't want to come out there. We need to go back the other way. My back pain is eight and a half years old now. I've just begun to, to go ahead for a spinal cord simulator implant. Oh, You'll have to keep us informed on that, Rachel. I see we're doing the Wheel of Doom. Hopefully it's not crazy for everybody. You won't pet her for 24 hours? Well, I was much, I was much lenient with that, with Clive, let me tell you. Oh, I didn't mean to think you say that, Ruth. <laughs> And, and there was no reason for it. We've, we checked his cat litter. We checked his food. We checked everything. There was no, there was no if, ands, buts, or, or, or reasons that we could think of that would disturb him in such a manner. So we did go trying to figure out. Really? If you're, I get, I'm stuck on the same frame there, honey. How's your day going, by the way? Since I'm not texting you, I might as well just talk to you here. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Is it really two o'clock already? Oh my gosh, where's the time going? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and like that's what I mean. We checked, we checked. I, as, as soon as he was in the doghouse, so like I said to Munchkin, okay, check this, this, and this, and this, and this. And he's like, everything's fine. I'm like, okay, well something's going on here. We need to figure it out. It's not doing anything good. So, uh, you know, we, we need to, we need to, we need to figure what is happening. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Do whatever you have to. Are you kidding? I'd rather take, hold on. Let's go back to main camera. Cause you really see I'm serious stuff here. <clears throat> I'd rather have somebody take a natural growing object or product like marijuana than take all the chemical crap BS that the pharmacists are con making up for your body. So natural or crap, I don't know, you choose. I'd rather choose natural. So go for the CBD, go for the, the, the whatever it is, the flavored gummies or the cookies or whatever it is that you need to do. So by golly, you know, nature is where it's at. It's always been there. Why we haven't used it from the get-go, I don't know. But don't take that chemical crap over anything. Go for mother nature. Me, mother nature has it where it's at. Go for the CBD, go and roll yourself a big fat joint and smoke it. I don't care. Whatever suits you and makes you happy, go for it. Seriously. Chemical crap is not worth it at all. It's going to kill you in the end. Oh, that's exactly it, Deanne. I tell you. It's not allowed. I hope it is, Marguerite. Sooner or later, it will be. It has to be. And to think of so many things you can make with the byproduct of that. 
Uh, hemp is a fantastic material for making bags, for making material, for making mats, to making, to, for being fire starter, for being a fuel substitute, for being, uh, and there's so many different things. Like we can argue this all, all damn darn day. Sorry, darn day. Don't don't swear, Lorelin. Don't swear. It's not not good. Mm. Well, that's exactly it. Medical reasons, right? It's not just to get, you know, high off the, the you know, from, off from school. Yoo-hoo, 420, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, that's not the point. That is not the point at all. It's for medical use only. All right, uh, hold on. We did the three. Three solid. We need to go over two. Hold on. One and two. Mm. Uh, well, they've, edibles have become legal here just this year, but uh, marijuana became legal last year here in October. And, of course, it's many provinces across Canada that, that it, it is legal at. Um, but it depends on the oils and the edibles. That seems to be the uh, stickler in the mud at this point in time. But if you have a reserve near you, you know, go ahead, check it out. You never know. Bring cash. Hello, Sue Smith. Happy you're here. We're just working on this beautiful flower pot sister uh, cross stitch. And I'm working on the light greens. This seemed to be a polka dot section. Yeah, exactly. We're not doctors, of course. Pop knows it. He's always covering my butt. We're working on the uh, light greens, or we're working on the light greens of this uh, pot here. Uh, 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 actually, a flower pot. <laughs> yeah, it helps. It helps fight cancer for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so working on this one right here. We got some light green going on with like a little polka dot sort of situation, and then we're gonna be some. No, no, he's not. He's at home. He's at work today. I'm home by myself. The chaos run through, uh, and then some dark green goes in this. So this is kind of like a polka dot pot. He's not home. Pot session and pot talk. Exactly, Jessica. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> <coughs> no, he's not home. I wish. Darn rights, Ruth. Exactly. Yep, yep, yep. In fact, um, when it became legal, it was one of the things I actually talked to my mom's doctor about. Um, was, you know, giving her edibles. I, I, I was more than, uh, willing to make her cookies to send to her brownies to, to send to her, but because I needed them to know what I was doing, not to conflict with her current medication, they were not cool on that at all. So I thought, well, I could get her, you know, I, you know, there's so many different things with the oil and this and that and everything else to help with her pain. Cause as you know, most of, you know, uh, my mom's got really, really big legs and uh, she suffers from CMT and, um, she's, you know, it, it is what it is. She's in a, a home care. So, um, now your cross looks like, uh, limp socks hanging from fireplace mantles. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, they wouldn't allow it. They wouldn't allow it. Because I said, oh, I'm more than willing to, you know, make mom goodies, you know, like, but they, they said no. So, uh, all right. Did, I think I got most of that section there. And then, and that's not the reason why her cookies were confiscated in March when I went to go visit her. There was no weed in those cookies. It was just regular cookies. But because... They were still fresh when I went to vacuum pack it. It went into one big lump, clump, and they would not allow the cookies to go through. So, though she would have loved those macaroons, no matter how they looked, she just would have tucked in with a spoon and not give a hoot. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> and yet they confiscated my cookies. <laughs> um, where is my green? Okay, there we go. That's the other. Ba -ba -ba. 
It was very sad, Sue. I even tried, like I said, and they said no because it wasn't this and it wasn't that. And I'm like, but then, you know what? Then when I realized they actually had her on a fentanyl patch, where well, like was way stronger than, you know, THC or whatever else could be possible with marijuana uh, or, or the byproduct of, you know, marijuana. So I'm like, well, geez, if... I was hoping that something would help ease her pain, but if you guys are going on fentanyl, like, seriously, a little THC isn't going to do nothing for her. <laughs> yeah, she's already on the good stuff. <laughs> but it itches her like crazy. She's They got to put it in a place where she can't scratch at it or she'll just scratch herself raw. You were always on my prayer list there, Vicki. Mm, you've been there a long time, exactly, like Gwenny. Mm -hmm. CMT, uh, you should look it up there, Ruth. It's actually got a couple of mm, uh, long words involved in it, and it's it's really quite sad. So just look up CMT, and you'll see it. She's a little person, and her... I'm going to get upset. She's a little person and she has really, really, really big legs. The legs are so big because they're just filled with fluid and they just, they just, sorry, keep producing fluid and there's no space for it to go. So sores will open up on her legs and go like a little fountain of squirt out fluid and it's, oh, it's disgusting and so sad i'm sorry i did not want to cry this street i've been talking about my mom and not being there close to her it really hurts so, it's, oh, so i'm sorry i just got tough enough the fact she can't watch her streams anymore is really hard too because I know she can't see me and I can't talk to her. And I only when somebody goes to visit can I talk to her. And it's really sad. Oh, yeah. Her legs are so huge, Ruth. You have no idea. They're massive. Like, you think of how my body is, right? Just my whole... And I'm a chubby wubby. I'm not saying I'm a skinny mini or anything like that. I've never said I was. I'm a chubby wub and I'm proud of it. I worked hard for this. There was a lot of cookies and cake involved in this stuff, let me tell you. And, like, each leg is the size of me. Like, each leg. And then she has such a small little torso. Like, how do you deal with that? How do you deal? Like, and you can't move. And then she, they, they dislocated her shoulder trying to move her into a chair one day. Now her shoulder can't be reset because there's no point. She's 75 years old. She can't survive the surgery. I'm sorry. Don't mean to whine. You know, when I, I live like three provinces away and seven hours by travel and or by plane, you know, by the time I get there and by the time I land and everything else, it's like, it's horrible sometimes. I'm sorry. It could be a tough fart sometimes. All right. Let's tie these off at the back here, because I seem to have a few. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Thank you, everybody. It's hard. I'm very much looking forward to seeing her in July when I get to see her for my niece's wedding. And I get to hang out with her. I told her I would because they were worried about somebody hanging out with her and making sure she could get to the bathroom and so on and so forth. And I'm like, no, 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 it's me, it's me, it's me. I'll take care of mom, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about anybody, you don't need a nurse. <laughs> I got me. <laughs> so I'll be, sorry, I'll be with my mom pretty much the whole time, making sure she's okay and needs anything and whatever. And my sister can focus on her daughter who's getting married and the other sister and I can help with mom. and. So it's all good. It's all good. I'm very, very excited. 
very excited for the wedding. And now that Lisa and I have done the quilt together, it'll be, uh, it's even more exciting now. So, okay, I think I'm done with the light. All right, what's the, uh, the equals, or the divided by sign? Uh, <laughs> thank you, Helly. Uh, equal sign, equal sign, oh no, divided by sign is light yellow green. Okay, well, I thought I'd just pretty much use the light yellow green. Okay, well, whatever. It's green. We're using a green. And of course, I have these beautiful beads here, too. They didn't come with the kit, but I'm just adding them. Yeah. So. Oh, I plan to. I plan to, Quinny. I'm hoping you can meet her, too, actually. Hoping we can all meet for dinner and I can drag her out. Or you can come crash the wedding. <laughs> Would that be funny if Gwenny and her husband come crash my, crash my niece's wedding because I asked her to? <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> oh, thank you, Marguerite. I wish I could help her. I really, I wish I could, I wish I could fix her. I wish I could take her pain. You know, when, when you're, especially when your children are sick and you look at them and you're like, oh, I wish I could take your pain. I know how to handle it better. You know, so on and so forth. I, I would totally take my mom's pain in an instant in a flash. I think I could deal with it better than she can. So I'm not saying she's not strong enough. That's not what I'm saying. I just don't want her to be in pain. I crashed the wedding. <laughs> yeah, July 18th. That is the day in Calgary. Miss Victoria's getting married. It'll be very nice. <clears throat> yeah, they won't they won't reset it, Jessica. Because she's got there's a lot of weight on the lower part of her, right? So and unfortunately, and I saw bruises. Like my, my middle sister Elizabeth sent me pictures of bruises on her shoulder, and I was like, what the heck happened to mom? And then not realizing what had happened. Uh, oh, I've made her many quilts there, Sue. Trust me, I've made her many, many, many. <laughs> She's sick and tired of my quilts. <laughs> she doesn't need any more quilts. <laughs> uh, chronic pain is bad, exactly. It is. Um, so, uh, yeah, she. <laughs> oh, we, we, we've, we, I've tried to do whatever I can to help her, that's for sure. Whatever I could. Uh, all right, so half stitch on the very bottom. All right, so that's the half and the half going together. Mm -hmm. oop, oop, oop. Hold on. Yeah, and I think Pop and I are going to actually drive because we were trying to calculate what was the cheapest way to get there to be able to celebrate with everybody for the two of us. So we could, the both of us could drive for the cost of one person flying. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drive, though it's gonna be a long drive. It's gonna be three days to get there and three days to get home. And of course, probably three days there. So we'll have to, we'll have to figure that out. Mm -hmm. Making dinner today? Yum, yum, what's for dinner, Miss Helly? What's going on? Uh, big screen, I'm snuggling for a nap. So uh, here's, <laughs> it's okay. You work the late shift there, Jessica. No worries. We'll, we'll tuck you in. <laughs> we'll sing you a little song. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ruth. That's very nice. Chicken asparagus soup. Oh, that sounds delicious. I likes me asparagus. I likes me chicken. Do, 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 do. Okay, half stitch. Ha oh, I need to finish that half stitch. I didn't finish the half stitch. Hospital for eight months. I wish I could have traded spaces. No kidding, Linda. Oh, medically induced coma. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. We had a family friend. They, they had to do that too. Uh, as well, so they would heal properly without waking up. Oh, yeah, it was really weird. I didn't understand it when I was a kid. I'm like, why, why, why? 
<laughs> they're like, it's, it's better for them. It's better for them if they're just this way. I'm like, I don't understand. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, they were there for a few months before everything could heal on the inside for them to be able to wake up and, and deal with it and, and deal with the situation because they'd lost family members in the, in, in the situation as well, right? It was a vehicle accident. So yeah, it was a tough one. That's for sure. All right. Three stitches in a row of the dark green or the meat. It says like yellow green, but it's just a green. Oh uh, yeah, my crew says that too. I have attention deficit disorder, and I, I didn't focus very well on our meetings. And they say whatever comes to my head. <laughs> I do too. Is that a bad thing? <laughs> I didn't know it was a bad thing. Open heart surgeries. Oh my gosh, that's when you're like, my lord. Oh, just think how kid, how strong this kid's gonna be, though, Linda. Let me tell you. How strong she's going to be. How can you not be after all that? Like, geez. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, let's color what we've done because I don't want to get confused by shiny objects. All right, and then three on top. Okay. And using a, a um, highlighter, it still helps you see what's underneath, but it still marks off your st spots without uh, using pencil, and you don't trace anything from your hand onto your project okay so good tip yeah hopefully she's okay now uh, omelet small cubed potato diced onions and mixed vegetables and egg poured over top very nice pj i made uh munchkin and i we had some <coughs> roast beef that we had a leftover from the other night but it had more of the fatty bits on it but still some meat on it so i pan fried that for a couple minutes and then uh, threw in like four eggs for him and I for breakfast before he left for school. So, cause I wasn't hungry right away cause I didn't have crossing guard right away. So it was pretty much almost nine quarter after nine by the time I, I, I made breakfast. So, but uh, yeah, he was very happy. I, I was sharing. <laughs> I'm a good mom. <laughs> mm. Work can go off and leave. Some... Well, when you're, are being told about what you have to work and I go off about the latest movie I saw. <laughs> Hi, shiny object. <laughs> oh, excuse me. She's amazing now. She is nine years old and still catching up to everyone else. But, oh, I bet. I bet. I'm sure she's just a special little nugget. That's for sure. Nugget of gold. Friction, do highlighters or mark them off with iron iron on? Oh, really? On the paper as well, Rachel? On the paper? What? Really? Ooh. I love live streams for educational purposes. <laughs> Say what, what, Batman? You can iron it off and it would disappear? I'm amazed by this information. <laughs> what? I feel like my mind is just opening up to so many levels. All right, so, and then we go, so that's that three. Hold on, that's one, two, three. You and me. Okay, so then we need a half. Two, two, two. Oh, hold on, get back in there. These are using prism pen on paper and then ironed it to spirit. Oh, friction pen. Oh, okay. Really? <sighs> I learned something new every day. I love it. I love it. All right, one, two, three, four, five and a half. All right, so let's go up and over to and over the half, and then that was one, two, three, four, five. Okay, hold on, here's the half. Really? That's, that's very interesting. I think so, I think so, Ruth. I think so. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I could probably put this into zoom. Okay, there we go. 
That might help some people. One. Two. Come on, two. Go ahead and find the hole here. Two, 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 two. Two. Three. Four. All right, and go back. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> okay, Dr. Hell, I will do just that. I hate all the meds they are prescribed to me and I have to choke them down. I, I no worries there, Vicky. I, I think you should just try, if, especially if it's legal in your area, go go hit a, a shop and f figure out what can help you. Ask them. They're very knowledgeable, pe knowledgeable people. All right. And they're not out to just take your money or make you a drug addict or whatever else you think that might happen. That's not the case. They're out to help you. So, like I said, hit a, hit a reserve. If you got a reserve on your area, I think you'd be very surprised. You may find some really good stuff there. So, give it a shot. You don't know until you try it. Okay, so all the way there. And now we need to fill up the next row with the half shot. Uh, any, the 31 March is the meeting. Uh, oh, oh, I saw L. I, I, I missed that. What was that, Heli? Some about LL soon? I, I'm sorry. There's all sorts of things. Just go look. Just go look. Uh, good for correcting puzzle boo boos, too? <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> Pilot friction. Friction pens. Mario Bow with your original better carrot stick. Two is vitamin C. Yeah, that's true. Is it, uh, yeah, it is getting... Uh, thank you, Pop. I appreciate that. Uh, it is getting there soon, that's for sure. Just popping it away. Look to a more natural method. That's what I've always said. So, I mean, because the chemical crap those people put in your body, there was always some sort of a side effect. You know, whether it's tummy upset or liver failure or sleep apnea or, you know, or sorry, insomnia. I didn't mean to see yeah, sleep apnea. Uh, insomnia. There's, you know, you name it underneath the sun. So, hello, Miss Pauline. How was your birthday? How was your birthday? How was your birthday? Yeah, you cow patty. How was your birthday? That was last week. I think it was last Tuesday, wasn't it? Am I wrong? <laughs> no, you don't need to put up the doctor exclaimer again. I'm not a doctor. I just believe in the more natural methods of medication. Thank you very much. Potato vodka. <laughs> yeah, it was last year. There we go. I'm glad it was good. Hopefully the kids just spoiled you rotten. Kid, kids, how many you got? How many you got? You got a dozen? Half a dozen? Two dozen? Five dozen? How many you got? <laughs> they better have spoiled you. Uh, all right, now in between, all right, there's a half stitch, and then we're going to fill in the line all the way in between. Okay, so here's the half. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There's really 2.27. Where's the time go? My gosh, every time I hang out with you people, the time just disappears like crazy. I blame yous. <laughs> I blame yous for making my day disappear. <laughs> All right, and then one and a half on the other side of the lighter green. Okay, so one and then a half. All right, and then we, of course we need to come back the other way. <laughs> hey, Dr. LL's in the house. Woo, woo. <laughs> uh, oh, really? Oh, that's sorry to hear there, T Tracy, because I've, hear I've heard some uh, quite encouraging things about it. Uh, my girlfriend just over on the other street, so... Uh, she, she, she swears by it. She's actually, it says it's helped her with her migraines and stuff, and she's not normally to, you know... 
you know, veer off from doctor prescription, but it was actually the doctor who suggested it for him, so. <laughs> Dr. LL's not in a house. <laughs> Dr. LL has retired because she doesn't know what the heck she's talking about. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Gwenny, for hanging out here. Are you disappearing? Was that it? Was that it? Are you out of here? Are you tapping out? You like nap time? <laughs> well, hello, Miss Brenda. Well, we were we were scheduled. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, hopefully that's a good thing there, Miss Holly. I think we just need to hang out and just be be a group and a family and and loving sisters to each other and understanding and, and, and supportive. Cause that's, you know, it's so hard to get that anywhere. If, if, you know, if your own family doesn't give it to you, where do you get your, your support and love from? Right. I'm not saying I don't get it from mine. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying in general, like I know there's lots of people out there that this is the only place they feel welcome. This is the only place they feel like they can be themselves is hanging out with us. And I, and I, and I, I treasure that, but I'm also, I also get worried that, you know, they're, they're not getting the love and attention that they need on a daily basis from their own family. And I feel like it should talk to some of those family members and give them the what for, you know what I mean, Batman? Give them my number. 416-937-5822. Text me. I tell him, I tell him what's going on. I know it's too early for Miss Sasselet. I know we're going to have to do some next week uh, that are a little later so she can catch up with us. Maybe I think we're, I think we're in for four days next week. Well, Monday's family day. Uh, but um, I do believe there's two other scheduled um a strike days for next week, but I'll let you know as soon as that happens. So well, we'll do one of those strike. Yeah. Yeah. Really? What, 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 what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Really? What's, what's, what's with the really pop? Really? Re what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I'm missing something. I know the spaghetti sauce smells delicious. <laughs> well, we love you very much. You and the phone number. <laughs> hey, it's out there. It's already out there. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, now this one is straight across. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. All right, so back over here. Let's fill this one in because it's a half her cross stitch. It's my phone number. They can text me if they want. I mean, I may or may not answer. <laughs> I know it does, doesn't he? He's going to be so happy to come home. I was sad when he left. <laughs> I was kind of like, oh, bye. That's okay. Got a driveway all nice and cleaned up. It looks lovely because we had so much snow in it. It was crazy. It was crazy snow everywhere. Uh, all right. Let's see if this be right back button works. And if it does, I will be right back because I got to take a quick little potty break. Hold on. Let's see.
There we go. I think we're good. I think we're good. Sorry. Sorry about that. Should be good. We all good? We all good. Everybody back. Wanna see me rolling? They hating. They see me rotten dirty. Wanna see me rotten dirty. I don't know. I don't get out often. <laughs> well, that was <laughs> it, it, <laughs> that's the one for the prairie moon, which we're done with. Uh, we're done with the prairie moon. Actually, I can show that project off if it, anybody would like to see it, how we finished off. Let me just uh, tie these uh, dark threads down here. That was on the weekend live stream, and I finished it off. It's all ready to rock and roll. Looks good. <laughs> Green. There's a green. Yes, please. Okay, hold on. One second. Let me just thread this baby up and I will show you. Finished it all. Between Saturday and, uh, sorry, Sunday and uh, Monday, I finished it up. So I split it between uh, two days because I didn't, you know, want to work completely all, all my day off. So I only really usually have one day off. Even sometimes not even that because I end up shooting sometimes long on Wednesday or prepping for long on Wednesday to shoot on Monday, you know, that sort of thing. So there really isn't a day off. <laughs> that doesn't exist. All right, hold on. There we go. That's over here. Boom, boom, boom. All finished. Ready to rack. Mm-hmm. Looks cute. And of course you can add a border, you can make bigger blocks, you can do whatever you like. The same principle applies about putting it together. Isn't that cute? Turned out really nice. Turned out very lovely. And even the back. Okay. And that was the quilt as you go. Each block was attached. Each block was attached. Okay. It's five by four. So it is a good size, nice cuddle, one for the couch, put over your lap, you know, whatever. So, and of course you could do each squares on the back, different colors. So you can make this a whole other quilt. You can have a two, two, two quilts in one. You could. <laughs> And I thought maybe it might have lost a little bit of uh, the block layout, how they were connecting, because, you know, the kind of the blocks came together and formed a different uh, square. But I don't think so. What, what's, what's your guys' opinion? I probably should have picked a different square to work off for the quilt of the block, like maybe just a uh, simple nine patch or something that wasn't going to lose any of the triangle bits. But I don't know. I thought it was a good one to show off of. So uh, you have a very tender heart. It, Kind of makes me happy that mom died a cup of a couple plus on her brain so she didn't have to suffer. I know, I know, I hear you. Foldy? Mm, what do you mean by that, Tracy? What's going on, honey? Is it stiff, goldy? Foldy? It's not stiff. No, well, thank you, everybody. It turned out lovely. I don't know if I'm keeping it. I may give it away at the later of the year. You never know. Watch out. <laughs> and, and yeah, it wasn't stiff at all. It didn't seem like it was stiff at all. And of course, like I said, I found this lovely panel in my stash. So I'm going to make four bags, four bags to give away at our next live stream, uh, the 12 hour live stream. So watch for it. Four bags are going to be made of this beautiful sewing machine fabric. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, yep. And they're going to be given away during the 12 hours. I know. I'm going to make each panel, and then I'm going to build it out, and then I'm going to quilt it up on the long arm, and then I'm going to put it together and make a beautiful bag. Be Bob's your uncle. Bam. Done. <laughs> it's going to look amazing. <laughs> I know. Nice giveaway for you guys for hanging out with me for a couple hours. Mmm, pancake dinner at 12. I like pancake dinner. Pop's not a big pancake fan. Actually, he made pancakes the other day for breakfast. He made blueberry pancakes. They were delicious. 
I ate them. I shared a little bit with Sophie. Just because I'm a sharer. Mm-hmm. I'm a sharer. It was. It was amazing. Yeah, we're going to do a few things on that um, the 12 hour. Obviously, we have some giveaways. And I found a few things that I had here in the quilt shop that I haven't finished up. So I'm going to get those finished and be able to give them away. So I'm excited for that. Okay, straight across with a half stitch. Okay, so straight across. We are going... We are doing, sorry, we're doing a food drive and we get pancakes at the end of, oh, do you need help, Jessica? <laughs> I can help. That quilt as you go was cool and it was probably quicker to make than a regular one, just guessing. I would think so, Teresa, it didn't take very long. So really the most complicated part is, is making sure you have, okay, just as an example, the amount needed from your project. Say if this was your square, okay? So your backing needs to be long enough on all edges to be able to fold over your quarter and then fold it to where you want it to be on your project. So if you were making your, your, your block a nine incher, your batting a 10 incher, and then your fabric backing like a 12 incher, then you would have a lovely little frame out of your backing fabric framing your front fabric on every little square. So you're kind of like bordering out each one, sort of like what I did, but just a little bit bigger. So there's so many ways you can do that. You can work row by row. You can go block by block. You could go four section by four section. You could go six section by six section, depending on the size of your blocks. I mean, there's so many different ways that you can go about that project that I felt it was very universal for anybody to kind of take it and run. Because you can add row by row by row by row, keeping the majority of your fabric to the right or the left of your sewing machine, depending on how you sew. Uh, and then you're just adding a row on, which a row would be only the width of a block, right? So you add a row on, do, add a row on, do, add a row on, boom. And then you're, you, you could do it and end up, end up doing a king size in no time at all. So yeah, for sure. Hello, Nora. Happy you're here. I had already scheduled a weekend for yard work and my kids on the 29th, so I had to check through the 12th. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you, Lois, for hanging out, though. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out. Mm -hmm. Miss Nora McPhee from Scotland, Ireland. Oh, you're over there, darling. I know you are. You call me Flower, and I love it. I love it that you call me Flower. I really do. I do. I even blush to pop. I'm like, she called me flower. <laughs> Just say, I know it's goofy. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> back, in, back to work. Oh, insert face here. Oh, is that angry face? Is that snarly face? <laughs> what kind of face is that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're doing good. We're working on, hold on, this, which we're making some progress. We're doing really good. Okay. Hope that works. You can see that. We're working on our little polka dotted flower pot, the little green, the green, uh, uh, the two greens. Actually, there's lots of greens on here, but it's the eye of sisters or sister. Hello, Karen. Happy to see you. How the Fitzsimony Australian is to get you in the morning train commute. Wow, choo choo. Chicka 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 choo choo. <laughs> gnome hats, yes. Or also known as gnome hats <laughs> with little faces to insert later. <laughs> well, happy that you're here. <laughs> happy everybody's here. Yeah, so we're just working on. Some green, it's like polka dot. It's kind of hard to make polka dots, let me tell you. You know, by cross stitching, it's, a, it's not an easy task. It's not simple at all. Bum, bum, bum. Da, da, da. Yeah, just fill in this a darker green because we've got some really, really light green. This is light yellow green, is the other one in between. And we're just filling it across, making sure we're doing what needs to be done. And then we need a half stitch underneath there. <laughs> do I try it? 
<laughs> oh, this is not 12 hours. No, oh, this is not 12 hours. No, 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 no. 29th. 29th is the 12 hours. 29th is 12 hours. <laughs> you had lovely snow in our hills today, and as long as it stays there, yeah, it's lovely. We had lots. I had to get the my plow guy. He came the other day, and then he also had to come this morning because uh, there was enough snow on the ground that needed to be dealt with, that's for sure. It was enough. It was probably a foot on the deck, and I had to shovel that off. So... Mm. We love Miss Lois. We love everybody in her channel. All 65 of you. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us today. We're we'll working on our little cross-stitch flower pots with the name Sister on top. I'm trying to make sure I find the right hole to put it through. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's bigger now. I could. I will. I'll put actually uh, after the live stream. Um... I will. I have to clean up the mess I made in the between the living room and the or the 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 shop and the kitchen though, Pop. Trust me, it's a mess. <laughs> it's like kaboom! What happened? Uh, Laura Lynn was here? Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> yeah, we got we got lots of snow. We got lots. But it's nice and sunny today, so it's nice. and it looks like most of the driveway, since it's been scraped down by the plow, uh, will defrost. So there was a good section when I went to go scoop out to the mailbox earlier, uh, about 11:30, 12 o'clock, uh, that uh, it was it was looking pretty clear with the sun. Please like and share if you're new. Oh 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 oh, what was that? Oh oh, thank you, Diane57. Big hugs, big hugs to you, honey. Thank you very much. Like and sharing. 45 thumbs up, one thumbs down. Well, sorry about your luck, buddy. Don't let the door hit you in the butt on the way out. How's that? That's for you and your thumbs up or your thumbs down. Mm -hmm. I don't need your stuff around here. If you're not willing to be here, then leave. Adios, amigo. Adios, amigo. Hello from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Finally back to visit. Well, I'm happy you're here, Miss Cindy. We're just working on a cross stitch flower pot. It's num or letter I in the sister of the flower pots. Mm hmm. Indeed. I think I just finished my last dark or green. Oh, oh no, I need to add. Add one, one over here. Okay, very, very, very on the very, 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 very far right side. And then it's clovers. What's the clover color? Dusty green. Oh. Dusty green. <laughs> All right, here, let's do a half stitch over here. We'll see. We'll see what we're doing next. Can't believe it's almost 3 o'clock already. Holy kaputsies. Where does the afternoon go when I hang out with you guys? <laughs> All right, now we're going to tuck it in. See, that looks pretty nice back there. That's not bad. That's not bad for the back. Sorry, probably lower would be easier for you guys to see. That's not horrible looking. That's look. That looks okay. We're gonna just thread this right through here. Go from this side. Throw it under a couple of stitches. Pull it tight, and then give it a tail so it's not. You know, it's not gonna slip back through. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah, we're getting there. All right, let's go back to me. We're getting there. It looks pretty good. Not bad at all, I'd say. Sometimes I, I get hit by accident. I know because I noticed that once hit, oh, oh, that once hit, that was hit once. Thought how rude. That looked at me surprised. Changed that fast. Well, what are you talking about there, Brenda? I missed that. I feel like I'm missing a whole conversation there. All right, color in there. All right, now it's pretty much the tops of our pots because we have the bases of our pots all done. So now it's the the toppy top top pots. These guys up here that that flower out uh, give that little detail to the flower tops itself. Oh, the thumbs down. Oh, sorry. Uh, 
I don't care. Like I said, they can, they can leave. I don't need them here. They ain't going to make me or break me, man, let me tell you. Mm. Oh, the thumbs down. Oh, that's okay. No worries. No worries. But someone did it. Someone did it. <laughs> uh, so I was going to see if you were still here. Didn't, did you ever answer my question? How do you plan on coming down? Are you going to stay a month or two months a year? Oh. Mm, Sue, Sue Smith, is, is she coming down there? Uh, well, thank you, Laura. Happy you're here. We're hanging out, causing all sorts of chaos. I mean, having so much fun. <laughs> Doesn't he <you> ask? <laughs> yes, Pop, it's nothing but trouble. <laughs> I know, but it, ma it makes me feel like I've done something wrong, though, Ruth. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to do anything wrong. I'm not trying to be an overachiever or a brown nose or anything like that. I just would like to make people happy. And what did I do wrong that made them give them a thumbs down? Was it something I said? Was it the camera angle? Did they not like my attitude? Did they not like my shirt today? Like, what the heck happened? Come on now, Batman. Tell me, tell me, tell me now. <laughs> I got a note. <laughs> Actually, I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's start off with the zero zero. It's pink. Let's start off with pink. Pink, 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 pink. It's the medium pink. It's the medium pink. Do, do, do. Let's give it a picture. It is a pink. Yeah, it is a pink. It is a pink, pink. That's too short. Do you have anything left over? There we go. That's left over that one. Oh, I'm. It's done all the time. Are you kidding, Brenda? <laughs> I get left all sorts of interesting comments. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate that. But you don't. You don't see what's on the other side. Some people figure YouTube is a barrier and they don't have to explain themselves or do anything of the kind. Love asparagus, baked, steamed, and especially in soup. Oh, I like I like the like uh, baked or, or like um, grilled, grilled topped. That's that's that sounds tasty, very tasty. Uh, all right, why do I think that these are the wrong pinks? That's pink and dark pink. What did I grab? I think I might have grabbed dark pink, because that seems like that pink. Hmm. Is this a light pink? Any kind of pink. Oh, this is the pink. There we go. This is the pink I want. Mm -mm -mm. And of course, we have this lovely bead pack here that once we are all finished, we're gonna highlight some of our, hold on, let's go zoom, our um, baskets or pots or whatever. Do, do, do. You're talking about me, Tris Teresa? Because you said Laura, so I wasn't sure who, who you were talking to. Because mm. my name is Laura Lynn. Wasn't sure. Uh, da, 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 da. They are nice beads, aren't they? They're very pretty. Actually, they're made for, what is it? Uh, with cording and clasps for bracelets or necklaces or ear, no, no, there's no earringy bits in here, but there's long beads and short beads and medium beads and they're glass, they're glass beads. So I thought it'd be nice to highlight the pots and maybe even the words of the sister, if I could, in some of them. I don't know. I figured I'd give it a try. I was very well behaved at home, but I drove my teachers crazy and spent some of the time outside the classroom <laughs> hanging out in the hall. <laughs> Indeed. Hall kids. <laughs> Asparagus wrapped in bacon. Oh, that sounds delicious. We're going over to Sue's house whenever she's making it. Just let us know. <laughs> well, I'll come on over. <laughs> da, da. 
All right, now, is that a different pink? That is a different pink, all right. That seems like a weird flower pot to have so many pinks on it, but whatever. It is what it is, Batman, it is what it is. But I can change whatever I like because I can. Okay, first, let's do the ones in the center. Okay, so that is a half a one and a whole stitch. So here's the whole stitch. Oh, oh, too short, too short. Oh, no, that was, let's work on the half stitch first. Hold that, come back over. And this was a full stitch. <laughs> I got to come over one, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, it's very nice of you. Okay, now for the next one, we're pretty much all the way across. Uh, so half a one and then two full ones pass this one. So that's one and two and then this would be the half a one. Come on, pop up in the hole I'm looking at. Come on, come on, there we go. Mm -mm -mm. It's great, even Dad and I have lots of laughs together. We have everybody. Oh yeah, he's like 98 you said this year. My goodness, he's having a birthday. He's having a birthday. Da -na 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 -na. It's my birthday too. Da -na -na -na. No, it's not my birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been 13 years since we lost Pop's mom, and there's many times I'd, I'd love to just call her up and say, hey, blah, 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 or whatever, and it's so hard to know that she's not there, you know, or send her an email or look for her on MS Messenger chat. We used to chat on that a while, for a few years, especially when Munchkin was little, send pictures of him. Yes, it's hard hard getting used to someone not being there, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, so we finished off one pot, finished off another pot. Now we're working on the top parts of the other pots. Mm -hmm. two, two, two. It's our three o'clock already. Oh my gosh, where does the time go? Way out the window. <laughs> Mm -hmm. My dear mom would have been 76 on Sunday, the past, and I do miss her and my beloved daddy so much. Oh, I'm sorry, Nora. It's hard to deal with family members not there. You know, you really want them to be there, and sometimes it's hard to remember that they're gone. You know, Pop's, Pop's mom didn't even make it to 60, like, she was only like 58 when she passed, and that's just, that's not even long enough to, you know, know you have, obviously she knew she had Munchkin as a grandchild, but she didn't get a chance to see the second one, she didn't get a chance to see Sarah Lynn come along, so, not, things, not saying that she doesn't know she's there, but, you know, she was a great grandma, great mom. Oh, oh, half stitch, half stitch, and then back the other way. Okay, and that's all the way across, straight across. Mm -hmm. No, it's not time. My alarm would go off in like three minutes, but it's, I've turned my alarms off on my phone <laughs> for yesterday and today because there's danger strike. <laughs> Yes, but he does know my schedule. <laughs> Time for crossing guard. <laughs> that's usually 
Stop what you're doing, turn off everything you got going on, go to the bathroom, get your gear on, your boots, your hats, your mitts, your gloves, your scarf, your neck scarf, your jacket, <laughs> sometimes outboard pants, <laughs> and then out the door. <laughs> and then back in an hour. <laughs> Yeah, we lost her 13 years ago, Nora. We lost her 13 years ago. It was very sad. She deserved to live much, much longer. She had a grandson who loved her so much. It doesn't make it any easier when the time passes. With or without pants? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, with, oh, you mean <laughs> my crossy card pants? No, pants are always included with crossing guard. Other than that, it's very, very cold. <laughs> very, very cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> uh, Al you are on the same? Oh, no, you're one. Okay, yeah, we're 301. We're 301 here. Just, just. And I would just be actually... Who's the crossing stitch for the flower? Who's the cross stitch for flower? Oh, it is, it's called Sister. And it's from, hold on, let's go back to the Zoom here. Uh, from my middle sister to me a long time ago, way back when. And I thought I would uh, just do it up just because I could. And I wanted to for me because she gave it to me. So there we go. Hopefully you can see that. And we're just kind of working on the top of this pot right here the very pinky part of this top where it's uh, meeting the greens and stuff like that. Wow, that's way too young, Pat. Way, way too young. She didn't even get a chance to know what life was. That is, that is so sad, I'm sorry. That is terrible. She didn't even get a chance. 58, yeah, that's what I mean, you don't even know. You don't even know, you don't even know what life's all about even at 50, 60, 70, 80, I think that's what I learned. Okay, all right, okay, that's enough for me today for that. Anybody have any questions about this project or anything we have going on here? Anything, anything at all, I'm here for questions. I know, it's way too young. I have, I think I have done really big, made some awesome progress on the stitchery. It's taking time, but that's what does. Nine and a half. Oh my goodness. That's the, yeah, oh man. You don't even know. You don't even know at that age either. That's, I'm sorry, Pat. Yeah, within a present. So yeah, I'm a sister. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm keeping this one. I'm probably, do, I'm, I'm going to put the beads on and I'm going to frame it up on the wall. Oh yeah, it's fine. I'm keeping it. <laughs> uh, yes, I will. Uh, how will? How will I notify? I will notify via the www.wesewit.ca and www.wesewit.com and my own personal webpage on Facebook. So if you're not a friend of mine and you would like to be a friend of mine, that means you get stuck with all the stuff I post, no matter what, whether it's crossing guard or local businesses or whatever, because I do promote a lot and charity stuff. So, you know, if you want to be my friend, you got to suck up with that stuff too. Um, you can friend me on Facebook at Laura Lynn Fulford. There you go. Just ask me for a friendship and I'll put you in the list. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, doesn't it die in 57? I was talking to one of the um, other... Um, 
other, not necessarily streamers, but they, they, you know, they do a lot of handcrafts and works and stuff like that. And, and she said to me, she goes, well, it took me, you know, 50 hours to make the sweater for a customer. What do I charge them? The, like the thousand dollars I want for it. And I'm like, well, you kind of have to negotiate, you know, is a sweater worth a thousand dollars? Probably not. I don't know. What did you do with it? Did you enlace it with gold and stuff? So, excuse me. But uh, I'm like, you have to come up with a happy medium that the customer was willing to pay for this handcrafted item, but also your hours put into it as well. So you have to be happy as well as he's happy because, you know, you know, but don't give him a deal either. This is your time, your effort, your skill, your craft, your knowledge to make this happen for him. Right. So, and he's a big guy. So it took double almost the yarns, ball, balls of yarns to make the sweater for this big guy. So I'm like, you know, if normally if it would take you a week to do the front part of one side, but it's taking you a week and a half or a week and three quarters because of the size difference between, then you have to accommodate into that to your, into your time and effort. Right. So, um, it's a bit different, you know, Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and we'll also put like 30 minute alerts here on the channel. So if you're signed up and put to bell and stuff like that, that'll be a good way to do it. We girls were 12, 11, and nine and a half and seven. Oh my gosh, Pat, that's horrible. Lose your mom so early. Mm. How do you have time for all that you do, Ella? I squish it in. It's squish it. Squish it, squish it, squish it, squish it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom had a heart attack when I was uh, 16, so I kind of really had to grow up fast after that. So, you know, her being the only provider for the family, it's kind of like, uh, oh, sorry, uh, I can't read update on garage conversion. Not yet. We're still in the works. There's a lot of paperwork to deal with, and we are still frozen in a heck of a lot of snow on the ground. And there's still stuff in the old garage, so it's it's a process. It's a process. I'm late. What's going on? Oh, we're just saying goodbye, actually. But we're uh, we did this much. We did this much today. <coughs> Do I sew every day? Pretty much. I sewed this morning. I did alterations for uh, one of my customers. She dropped off like five dresses and two tops and four pants and like bed sheets and stuff. She just kind of gives me a whole bag of ragamadoodles and I fix it all up so that was between yesterday before guild meeting um, after charity stuff and then uh, guild meeting and then it was home and then I, I worked on it again this morning so <coughs> but yeah I pretty much so almost almost every day I liked it I'm fine with it <laughs> mm -hmm. hello miss Heather how you feeling How's your cane working out for you? Is that helping you at all? <coughs> Sorry, I have a tickle. <coughs> yeah. But I did finish the uh, <coughs> sorry Prairie Moon project and it turned out really nice. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Take your time. <coughs> Hi, Hildy. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, I can show you, Patricia. <coughs> Do you mean this tree or this tree? <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I bet you are, Gwenny. <coughs> Knee surgery tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. <coughs> I'm not sick. I don't know what the heck it is going on. <coughs> Joking on life. Both of them. Oh, okay. Well, this one here was a Valentine's Day project. We did, oh, two years ago? I don't know. Who would have seen it? Mm, I can't remember. And this is like a little love letter attached to a tree, a little bird. I just spontaneous. It was like a free motion sort of loving thing for Valentine's Day. So there we go. So that's that tree. And it was all cut out. And let's zoom. 
And then just stitch down so it's raw edge. This is all raw edge here. Really? I did that like two years ago, Ian. Yeah, it's <coughs> sorry, it's all rough edge. And then <coughs> this actually, this red material was from a uh, skate uniform I uh, altered. So I put it as a, a bird and then a little heart on a little envelope hanging from a tree. Okay. Applicate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just applicate. I just applicate it down. No big deal. And double batting in the bottom part. And then upper, um, um, just as one layer too as well. So, and then the other one here, let me show you. Yeah. And it's just plain, plain backing, just nothing exciting and mixed red binding. It's a scrappy red binding on that one. Okay. Cause we, we hit me to uh, Valentine's day and this beauty here was cause I was working on a project for the ear and fall fair at the time. And I was practicing doing free motion trees and someone saw it in the background and said, how do you do those trees? So I showed them on the beginning of the live stream. I don't remember which live stream it was, but, um, yeah, that was the one. And I just, I thought, what the heck? So I pretty much showed how I started. That was one of the trees I was working on for fun. Ta -ta. You can see, <coughs> sorry, on the back, I used all sorts of scrappy bobbins. <laughs> I think the back looks as good as the front, actually. <coughs> I apologize. Yeah, because you can see, it's always a little bit weird. So, and I thought that this side looked a little plain when, oh, sorry, here, this side. Sorry, this side looked a little plain that it seemed like it needed some. And I'm like, no, not all trees are beautiful and exact in, um, in Mother Nature. So you need to have a little bit inconsistency. So that's why I left it the way it was. It was, you can totally do that, Laura. Are you kidding me? You totally could. And then it would literally was pinned because you could tell there's rust spots here. It was pinned around one of my old sewing machines for like two years. So, yeah, it's pretty, it was fun. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. To, and you don't have to make the little nod in the tree here, but it helps give a bit of a definition to the, as you're working on the trunk and working your way up. And it's just free motion foot on your machine and Bob's your uncle go crazy. I, I could totally could, Sue. I totally could. It's been a while since we did it. Sometimes we don't normally like to redo videos, but um, if, you, if, you, if you are requesting it, Miss Sue, I can make sure that happens. I can, I can. Do like a little, maybe I can work it on my postcards. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It would make a great bag. I just made it as a wall hanging. I like to just kind of frame it out sort of thing, and that's it, so. Mm-hmm. I hope you can watch too, Miss Nadine. I can do that for you, Sue. I can do that for you. Oh, thank you with the tree of the heart. That was a Valentine's one. Yeah, a couple of years ago at least. I'm sure this is about the same time. Because it's been, I think since, since 2016 that I did this. I think it was 2016 that I did this. Maybe 17. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. All right. Uh, anybody have any other questions before we say uh, adios amigos till, well, you get a Wednesday video, which is tomorrow, and then you get a Friday video, and then you'll see us on Saturday, of course. So Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, I'm happy to. Happy to, Nora. Happy to show. Mm, okay. Can do, Miss Diane, 57. Mm, mm, mm. I hope so. I hope so, Laura. Hope you're subscribed. To the channel. You think so too, PJ? Oh, very nice. Thank you, Danny Dean. Mm, thanks, Patricia. Appreciate that. All right. So, anybody have anything else? Other than that, we'll say good afternoon to everybody and enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you very much for hanging out with me, working on this sister. We're almost there. Pretty much, it's the uh, the stems and the letters to go from now on, <clears throat> except for the top of the pots on a few of them. But we'll get there. We'll get there. So I'm in no rush. I'm in no rush. I'm not working on it off stream or anything like that. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exact. thank you, Anne. Happy you're here. Bye. Take care. Thank you so much. Brenda and Robin and Diane 57. Oh, thank you. Big hugs to you, Diane 57. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Hello, Kathy. 
All right, anything else? All right, then we'll say goodbye for today. Here's hoping I can push the right buttons. <laughs> and not go boom. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I will see you guys later in the week, okay? Big hugs. Thank you. Thank you for your time, for your consideration, and everything you give back to us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. All right. Got to go over to the other room to shut stuff off.